for those of you who know me, for those of you who don't, my name is Sam Hansen. I'm our Director of Agent Services and Technology here in our KW Town Square office. Um, you'll see that with a lot of the classes on our training calendar, we split them up between both the Town Square office, the Metropolitan office, um, even we have a, a share with the office in Trumbull, Connecticut for folks that are up that way. Um, but basically all the information we're going to go through today is pretty much the same for all of those offices. This is that introductory kind of orientation class. Um, so yeah, so you know, if you do have any questions, like I said, feel free to uh, ask away. Right off the bat, I'm going to kind of dive into a little bit of information. Already, I know we have to update this slide because you'll see at the top, it says Global Associates as of July 2020. Since then, I think we are right around the 200,000 mark um, as of, I want to say, probably June of this past year, June 2021. Um, so again, a substantial number of associates worldwide. Over a thousand offices worldwide. So again, depending on where you are, you know, if uh, let's say you're looking for a referral in another country, things like that, that is possible. That is doable with Keller Williams. Um, we are number one in agent count. We are number one in sales volume, and we are number one in units sold. So our mission statement, which is very true for those of you, again, most of you are new, but we just had an event last month called um, Mega Camp. And essentially that's when um, the founder of the company, Gary Keller, comes up and gives an address and speaks on the company. And you will find that our mission and our mission statement is very true to who he is. And so essentially our mission is uh, to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Our vision is to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers and our belief system. So this is something that you're definitely gonna hear repeated often. Um, funny enough, uh, which I will get to here shortly, both offices will be having, um, you know, our, we have a monthly sales rally, which is a, a time of the month where we basically get everybody together, we'll serve breakfast or, or, or something along those lines, talk about our wins, talk about our successes. But typically we always tend to start off those meetings talking about our belief system. Um, because even as new agents, this belief system is something that you can take on your first listing presentation or, you know, as you're talking to a potential customer or client, this does separate us from other competitors out there. So our belief system is called, doesn't look it, but it's called Y4C2T. And essentially this is what it is. So it's win-win or no deal. Integrity, do the right thing. Um, customers always come first. Commitment in all things. Communication, seek first to understand. Creativity, ideas before results. Um, teamwork together, everyone achieves more. Trust starts with honesty and success results through people. And so again, this is really important because again, it, it goes to show kind of where your foundation starts as an agent. You know, we really try and do practice, you know, practice what we preach. And so we really try and instill that in, in every agent that's part of Keller Williams. And a bit of our values. So you know, straight from Gary Keller, God, family, and then business. Um, you know, and that that is a, a again a good foundation and a good kind of starting point for being an agent with Keller Williams because you know we do believe in you know finding balance in all areas of your life. Um, and at the same time, with Keller Williams, the, the idea is, yes, you, you are part of Keller Williams, you are a Keller Williams agent, but it is your business. And so you get to kind of take your business where you want to take it. A little bit of uh, on our perspective. So we do consider ourselves a technology company that provides the real estate platform that our agents, buyers, and sellers prefer. So Keller Williams thinks like a top producer, acts like a trainer consultant, and focuses all its activities on service, productivity, and profitability. And you know, as we get into this, and as I kind of start walking through some of the tools that we have, you know, that is a big thing, especially when you hear about you know KW Command. That's meant to be our kind of one-stop shop for you to run your business. So you know, again, we are kind of really focused on being product productive, being profitable. You know, uh, work work smarter, not harder. 
And then just very quickly, I know I had mentioned this a, a little before, this is just a quick snapshot of Keller Williams uh, Realty International. So this is a couple of the key members of our leadership team. So obviously you have Gary Keller, who is our co-founder, chairman, and CEO. You have Mark King, who is our president. Um, Mo Anderson, which is always kind of a, a fun one to get to call out. Mo Anderson is really kind of the heart and soul and the culture of the company. Uh, she was responsible for getting the first thousand agents to join Keller Williams. Um, she's in her 80s now. She still is presenting. She still is out there serving as kind of our heart and soul. Um, and she's a really engaging speaker. That's, you know, I've seen it. A lot of agents like to, to call attention to that. She's really, check her out on YouTube. She's given plenty of speeches, really just kind of a, a motivational person. Um, and then you have Jason Abrams, who is our head of industry. And again, you'll see some of these names and faces, you know, throughout your time with uh, here at Keller Williams. So now I'm going to dive into a little bit more of the specifics, kind of the who's who between both of our offices, between Metropolitan and Morristown, or um, sorry, Metropolitan and Town Square. Um, so right off the bat, you have uh, Michael Brand, who is our operating principal. And so Michael is uh, the operating partner. He owns four different market centers. So again, the two that I mentioned. Um, one in Massapequa and in Trumbull, Connecticut as well. Um, in addition, Michael is also the regional director of 43 other market centers. So you will see him. He, he has his own classes, Mondays with Michaels, which I think we kick off next week. I'm looking at the calendar. Um, you know, uh, he teaches classes. He's engaged. You'll see him around. And he's just a down to earth and really nice guy. Um, so again, a little bit about Michael. From there, we kind of dive then into uh, you know who makes up the individual teams. So uh, our, we have two uh, our team leaders. So we have Alicia Cardi in uh, Morristown and Ryan McNish Juby, our team leader here in Basket Ridge. And basically, their roles uh, they're responsible for the growth and forward movement of uh, the office. And so essentially, if you have questions about your business, if you want to be able to scale up, if you want to you know, even as new agents get acclimated, you know, you have some of those initial questions. They're both here to help you out in addition to the rest of us. Um, but again, both super, super knowledgeable people. They've worked in different roles with Keller Williams before, so they really know the business and they really know um, uh, our company and our culture. After that, uh, Metropolitan also has Dylan Bryant, who is the assistant team leader. Uh, before I even read his description, he is the most down to earth, nice guy there is. And he also knows everything, anything and everything he has an answer for. Um, but he is their assistant team leader. Um, he actually used to work in, in our Baskin Ridge office at one point as well. Um, and so he assists with onboarding, with education, with technology needs, recruiting, um, you know, kind of kind of touches on all of those different areas. So you'll actually see he'll jump on and teach a couple of classes as well. Next up, we have uh, our brokers. So we have Beth Kalinka as the broker manager at uh, Metropolitan and Sarah Sally Smith, um, you can call her Sally, is our broker here in Baskin Ridge. And essentially their job is to, you know, really truly serve as your first line of defense. I know that's written there. Uh, but I will say, knowing both of these, <laughs> knowing both of these women, they will, you know, fight tooth and nail for you. Should you ever get into a situation where you need that representation, they are beyond knowledgeable. Uh, they're here to make sure you're compliant, that you are, you know, operating to the best of your ability. Um, and if you do end up having some of those specific questions, again, whether you know you're selling your own home or you have a question regarding a commission or anything like that, they are here to answer some of those questions as well. Okay. Next up, we have our market center administrator, Rafaela. And uh, Rafaela is actually in the office next door to me right now. I can actually see her from here. Um, so Rafaela is responsible for all things financial. And that goes from uh, the uh, commission checks to monthly billing to ensuring that our market centers are profitable. She splits her time between both Morristown and here. Um, and again, you know, they essentially makes sure that, um, you know, all of our finances are in check um, and just keeping kind of, kind of the wheels on the bus in that regard. She is one of the most important folks that we have on our team. 
Having said that, we also have uh, uh, Charu and Debbie. Um, so Charu is more of a compliance transaction coordinator in Morristown, whereas Debbie is our assistant market, uh, market center administrator here in Baskin Ridge. And basically they are your go-to people for questions regarding agent billing, your commission checks, um, you know, uh, license renewal, license processing, um, you know, again, supports the MCA in terms of those financial uh, transactions. Um, and I can speak for Debbie. Debbie was one of the first people. She's been with this office in Baskin Ridge since it opened. Um, and she knows anything and everything there is to know. So if you ever have a question, at least in our office, and you can't get a hold of one of us, she's another fantastic person to talk to. After that, a little bit about our productivity coaching program. We have Amy Brand, who is productivity coach, and Brian Van Hera, who is the launch coach. And together they work, uh, they run our Rising Stars coaching program. And so essentially what that is, it's a program if you decide as a new agent you want to join uh, or participate in, it does change that commission split a little bit. Um, you can certainly talk to either of them more so before, you know, before anything. Um, but what that is, is they will work with you through your first, uh, I believe it's four transactions, um, basically giving you that personal handholding. So, of course, we have our training calendar. You have all of us on our respective leadership teams, um, but they're here to kind of help you, you know, guide you along the way. So from script practicing through, you know, filling out the paperwork and filling it out correctly, um, you know, discussing uh, hosting an open house or securing a listing, they will kind of be there with you as your personal contact throughout those um, different transactions. Um, so if you have any more questions, I have a slide a little bit more that explains a little bit more about the program later in this deck. Um, but if you are interested, feel free to reach out, shoot your name in the, in the chat box, I can put you in touch with them. And they're happy to talk um, about the program in a bit more detail. Okay, a couple more folks, and then I'll take a little breather here <laughs> before we dive into the next part. Um, next up, you have uh, myself and Chelsea. Um, and we are your director of agent services. Um, essentially, we, um, although it says your go-to technology gurus, I do kind of consider ourselves more of kind of a concierge for the agents. So our role is to kind of, you know, teach classes, get you on board and onboarded and up and running, help with technology issues. And at the end of the day, answer your questions about your business. So if you're looking for something in particular, or you need help with a listing presentation, or you know whatever the case may be, we kind of take your questions. We'll either help you, point you in the right direction, or put you in touch with the right person. So you know we kind of are your your little bit of your first line of contact, especially as newer agents. Um, and so feel free to always reach out with any questions. We're always here and happy to help. And then last but not least, we have two roles that are specific just to our office here at Baskin Ridge. We have Christy McGurley, who is our director of marketing. And basically Christy's role is to help you develop your personal branding, marketing and social presence, email signatures. She supports me in uh, working on business cards, um, listing presentations, flyers, you know, you kind of name it, that whole marketing aspect of things. Um, in addition, she also supports the rest of us here at the office with, with you know, kind of whatever projects we, we have going on at the moment. Um, and she's super knowledgeable. You'll see, you know, she sends out social posts for, for agents to, to share. She'll customize them, all kinds of things related to marketing. And we also have Mitch Ross, who is our technology ambassador. And essentially, he works on some larger scale campaigns for some agents. And he provides some additional tech support if, you know, I can't be reached or I'm unavailable. And that is kind of everybody for the respective market centers in terms of the leadership team. Um, any questions so far before I go on to the next part? Okay. So next up, what I do want to talk about, a couple, again, a couple little things here at our, at, uh, our respective offices. Um, both offices do have what is called an ALC, which is the Agent Leadership Council. And their purpose is to inspire the collective team, the collective market center, to achieve extraordinary results, enrich careers, and maximize profits. Um, members are comprised of the top 20% of the um, agent body count in the market center. 
and their mission is to refer talent, drive profits, and manage expenses. So both um, ALCs have their separate committees, and those cover everything from growth and career development, technology, education, finance, um, social. Um, and so basically, every agent uh, gets assigned an ALC member. Um, typically, then that ALC member will reach out. And more or less, they are there to, you know, again, kind of, uh, you know, be a, an extra bit of support should you have any, any questions or anything like that. Um, but in addition, they want people to join their committees. So now that we're diving back into the fall, you may see this pick up a bit more. Um, it tends to get pretty quiet in the summer, you know, like most, most things. Um, but the idea behind it is that if you have a question or if you have an interest, whether it be education, technology, social, you can join that committee and essentially help to make that the market center, um, you know, introduce change and help introduce some of these things to the market center. So, you know, uh, social ends up being a big one. They will help plan everything from, you know, our, our Christmas party to happy hour events to things like that. Technology, which is a bit more my realm, is helping me kind of find and track down new technologies and new tools to be able to provide to agents and kind of just work on it that way to be able to introduce some of that change. We also have a few partners, and I do need to add one more on here as well. You will see a lot of our partners, Movement Mortgage with Alex Rivera and Maria Baxter. We have Atlantic Home Loans with Shane Force. I know, in, uh, again, in Metropolitan, there is Agility Title, Pam Lee. We also have Bold Abstract. Um, I know Morristown also recently just got Cardinal Financial. So again, you're gonna see some of these partners. They'll actually um, you know, host some of our classes, sponsor events. Um, teach, you know, teach their own classes. And, uh, you know, again, it, it, it's uh, another good resource um, for you to be able to have and to be able to use. Next up, this is another one that I feel like I can always kind of move this around in the deck because this does end up being a bit of an important one, at least on, on my end. Both market centers have their own respective uh, market center websites. So from, again, for more you have kwmetropolitan.net and here you have kwtownsquare.net. And essentially it's a place where extra resources live. Other materials that don't, aren't easily assigned a home tend to live on this site. Um, you know, now that we're back to September, you're gonna see the recaps of all these classes, um, you know, posted on that site as well. And most importantly, this is a great spot to go for our training calendar. That's where we have all of our training classes outlined for the month. Um, just note some, there are some slight differences between the Metropolitan and the Town Square logo. Sometimes we will have our own individual classes respective to those market centers. So for example, one of ours is, you know, our broker's corner with Sally Smith, that's exclusive just to us. Um, so things like that. So it's a great spot to be able to check out to see what we have coming up. And then now from there, I'm going to dive in a bit to some of these tools and some of these sites that you're going to hear, uh, hear of, especially as a new agent. Um, one of them is called MyKW. Um, and essentially, MyKW is based an agent admin site. So for example, as soon as you know, we enter you into our system, you're, you're brought on as an agent, that information is put into MyKW. And essentially, that then gets sent out to different sites you know, showing that you're an agent with KW, showing your phone number, your email, contact information, that sort of thing. Um, this site was, and I do preface this when I meet with new agents, used to kind of be used a bit more in the past. A lot of features have since kind of been transitioned over to some of these newer sites. So I don't spend as much time on this site. Um, however, I do typically, um, you know, I will walk through some of the basics. I'll just explain this here. Um, one of the main reasons that some agents still do use this site is because you can send an office-wide message from here. Um, and I'll cover that in, in, a, in a future class as well. Um, but otherwise, it, it used to have a bit more weight to it until we switched over to KW Command, um, which I'll explain here in a moment. Um, one of those sites that they have since moved some information over to is called KW Connect. Um, and basically, I always tell agents, feel free to kind of explore this site at your leisure. It's a great site for different resources. They do have their own um, training calendar um, with kind of more broad classes meant for all Keller Williams agents. Um, they have marketing materials, scripts. 
Um, we actually tend to use some of the training materials that are in here to teach some of our classes. Um, and so again, it's completely available to you, a lot of great resources, um, and feel free to check them out at your leisure. So as I had mentioned, one of the sites that, uh, that we do use and that we have since kind of put more uh, attention to is our KW Command platform. And essentially that is meant to be your one-stop shop to run your business. So Command is, for those of you who know what a CRM platform is, it's kind of a database, it holds your database and helps you run campaigns to promote your business. So in KW Command, this is where you would keep your database, your contacts, you can add them onto email campaigns. Um, you can create social posts, print pieces. Um, you can find referrals, make edits to your agent website. Um, essentially, I'm going to get to this in a second. This is where you're going to actually shortly go to do your paperwork, um, which is where all of our paperwork will soon live. So again, it is kind of meant to be that one-stop shop um, to help you run your business. Um, I teach classes every Thursday that cover a different topic in command. Um, and then if you do have any questions, if there's something you want to achieve or something you need help with, just reach out and we're here to kind of walk you through and show you how to do that. So as I had mentioned, um, at the moment, I don't like that this is worded mandatory. Nothing is mandatory. I, however, I would almost like it to say, if you want to get paid, start here. Um, these are kind of two of the most important classes that you as a new agent can take. Um, one that walks through the MLS. Typically, we just do Garden State MLS because that is the largest. Um, and then another is Dot Week. Um, and yeah, uh, Lillian, I see you raise your hand. Your Thursday classes, are they in person or virtual? No, they're virtual. Uh, okay. Again, because we split them between the two market centers. So there's still one of those classes that we uh, can get away with doing virtually. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And they're Thursday at, at one o'clock, um, every Thursday at one o'clock, so. Um, so yeah, so as a new agent, again, definitely attend these two. I know tomorrow, I think we have the dot loop overview. Um, I'll say this much, we are in the process of transitioning from dot loop to DocuSign. Um, that is kind of in the works. I know Morristown had started some of their classes. I think they're gonna pick back up mid-September. We're gonna kick ours off mid-September as well. Um, I'm going to have our own kickoff meeting all, all on Zoom, just to make it easy, um, next week, just discussing kind of what to expect over the com coming months. You know, part of my responsibility, and I'm sure also in Morristown um, as well, we're going to kind of be here to teach you and, and show you how to um, successfully use DocuSign. It's very similar to DotLoop, um, just some verbiage and, you know, slightly different process, but it's not terrible. It's not terribly different. Um, so I think it should be a smooth enough transition. So yeah, Tom. Sorry about that. Um, so what, what do you recommend with uh, getting on board with uh, dot loop since it's phasing out? Uh... Still, I would still take the class. I would still take the classes um, because parts of that are still going to be beneficial for DocuSign. So again, to see how the paperwork is laid out, to see kind of how that fills in. Both tools are very similar. We're still going to have people use dot loop for the time being. We probably won't, we'll probably encourage people to start transitioning over maybe like October. Um, but in the meantime, we're still, it's going to be that little um, transition transition period where we, we will kind of look at both, but so, so right so now dot, dot loop still. When is dot, when is the next dot loop training? I, I'm sorry, you may have said that. So there's a, going to be a training tomorrow, same time at 11 a.m. for dot loop. Um, and then again, I don't know what Morristown schedule is, but for Basking Ridge, I'm going to have a kickoff meeting next Tuesday, um, just kind of explaining and announcing to people that we're going to be switching to DocuSign. And then after that, I'm going to have a weekly class walking through and I'll be doing one-on-ones and all that stuff too. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then again, a couple of quick other marketing resources and tools just to, just to touch on them. And again, typically we will kind of cover these in some future classes as well. Um, as a new agent, you also are given the KW Consumer app. Um, essentially it works just the way, you know, your Zillow and Realtor and all those other apps work. The incentive, and that is always what I, I tell new agents and, and experienced agents, 
get your clients to use it because if they sign up and if they favor a property, you'll get you'll get notified and you'll be able to stay on track. You'll be able to kind of keep in constant contact with your client. So that way, if they favorite something, great, I see you like this. Let's schedule a, let's schedule a viewing. Um, you know, it is a way to kind of be be uh, you know stay in touch and kind of be you know front front of mind for your client. Um, and I will build that into one of my command classes in the coming weeks um, as we kind of dive through each one. So be on the lookout for that. A um, couple of these are going to be some marketing tools. Again, as new agents, you're probably not going to use these just yet, but good to know. Um, one that we have is called KW Marketing Center. And essentially, that's great if you want to do a postcard or a mailing. Um, they are more of a localized company, so they do understand some of the areas a bit more. Um, they will help you. They have pre-made designs. So you drop, drop in your information and they'll get postage and all that stuff set up and taken care of for you um, as well. Um, they actually just re revamped their website. I think, funny enough, I think today, post Labor Day, they were going to officially kick it off. So, um, you know, I, I will try and cover a class on this in the future um, just to, to give, you know, agents an idea of kind of their services. Um, Another site, again, that does some of that marketing and also has some other great resources as well is Michael Lewis Marketing. Um, and they, again, do everything from postcards to, to uh, business cards, flyers, social posts, you name it. Um, some of it is for a cost. Most of the print materials are for a cost, but they also do have a really great section that they actually call free stuff. And in there is another spot that you can find things like listing presentations, um, marketing materials, other stuff that you can use and customize um, for yourself as well. And again, that's just in addition to everything that's in KW Command um, and everything that you know we kind of generate in-house as well. Another site, typically, again, not used right off the bat, but it may come in handy at some point as you grow into your business. Um, every agent will have access to Toolkit CMA. And more or less what that does is, you know, as an agent, you're going to be doing CMAs for potential clients, you know, giving them information on what they can get for their homes. A lot of agents do just end up pulling comps from Garden State MLS. That is the quickest and easiest way. But if some people are putting together a listing presentation or anything like that, Toolkit CMA can be helpful because you'll see it kind of provides you with some more graphic materials, some more charts, um, you know, kind of more of that material for an actual listing presentation. Um, again, we'll, we'll kind of probably teach a class on this sometime this fall, just to show you and give you a rough idea of what, uh, what is included with it. But typically for new agents, not something I, I push right away. Similar to that is one other site that kind of does the same it is called RPR, a Realtor Property Resource. And again, same thing, it's gonna give you more of that information that you can include in a listing presentation more of that CMA information, either on a specific property, um, you know, areas, zip codes, things like that as well. Um, and we will pencil in a class, which I think last class, I think we, or sorry, when we were meeting about the calendar, I think we're going to aim to put a class like this on the calendar for, um, I think for October. I'm double checking here. I think for October. Um, again, nothing you need right away, just another great resource. Um, to have available. And also another great one as well, Scott Leroy Marketing, you know, as new agents, that is kind of, you know, who works with you in terms of setup, getting you access to all of these sites. They work with us in our roles directly as well, just to kind of assist with um, that onboarding process. But they're also great for other technology um, needs as well, whether it's uploading contacts into your database, making edits to your agent website, um, or if for some reason you can't get a hold of one of us, they are also a great resource as well. They're very responsive and they know a lot of the tools and the systems that we use and have in place. Um, so you can always visit their website. They also have their own training classes as well. Um, uh, and again, a lot, of, a lot of other resources on their site is, you know, just to, just to kind of have. So how we communicate with you. So. <laughs> Because of COVID, things were a bit different even before I had joined. Uh, with COVID, we kind of do our best to make sure that we're staying in touch with you constantly. So you'll see we do post on our separate Rockstar 
Facebook pages. Um, so in this case, I, I think it's uh, KW Metropolitan Rockstars and ours is KW Town Square Rockstars. Just another outlet to be able to post to. Um, we also send text messages um, from the office. We will do phone calls. Um, obviously, we're doing our best in terms of the hybrid and in-person classes. A lot will still be on Zoom. Um, and of course, we also send daily and weekly emails as well. So all the ways to just kind of keep you in touch with what you need to know, with what classes we have coming up, what events um, are coming up, and any other important information that we need to get across to you. Um, our kind of MO is to uh, over communicate and under communicate. So. <clears throat> And then now next up, these are a couple additional trainings. So I know I covered some of the actual sites. These are more of the actual training classes that you'll see kind of coming up. Um, the first one that I will mention is Ignite. Um, and there is Ignite Spark and Ignite Elementals, or sorry, Ignite Spark and Ignite Essentials. Um, and essentially what these classes are is uh, a bit heavier in terms of the content. Um, Basically, Ignite is for any agent who wants to close at least 16 transactions per year. Um, and we teach the proven models and systems of Keller Williams to be able to help you achieve those goals. Um, so you'll see coming up in October, our first Ignite class starts next Monday at 9.30 a.m. Um, to explain, we are trying a different approach with this. Ignite used to be in person only prior to COVID. Um, during COVID, peak COVID, it was all on Zoom. This fall, we're going to attempt a bit of a hybrid. And so what that means is essentially the class will be taught via Zoom, um, but our respective market centers are gonna allow people to come into the training room. We will pull the Zoom up on the screen. And then for the last half hour, hour of class, we'll kind of discuss in person what was covered, you know, next steps, learnings and things like that. So we're gonna do our best to kind of create that hybrid. Having said that, you can absolutely join via Zoom. So gonna be available via Zoom but we're gonna attempt that little in-person component at the end, just to kind of see you know, some feedback. Um, earlier in the summer, we had reached out to everyone to see what they would prefer. Surprisingly, most people still wanted it on Zoom, but again, for those who, who also wanted it in person, we're gonna just kind of see how this goes. Um, but at the very least, we're gonna have typically two to three uh, Ignite classes a week. They're a little longer, about an hour, hour and a half. They'll be recorded, so if you ever miss one, you can absolutely go back and catch the recording but they'll talk about different topics. So again, whether it is um, gaining leads, using you know, powerful language, um, setting uh, great goals, lead generation, things like that, that really will kind of help you establish yourself in your business. Um, so Ignite is just one example. We also have another one called 3612.3 that you might see in the coming months. Um, again, there is Ignite Spark, Ignite Essentials. Um, Another one as well is called Bold. This is the only one that is an extra fee. Um, typically we have it once a year, so I, I don't think we're gonna have it again until probably the springtime. Um, but Bold is much more of a uh, holding you accountable type class. You do pay a little extra for it, but you are given homework, you are given assignments. You really are held to a high degree. Um, and it is much more than just taking a class. It is a bit of coaching. Um, script practicing, lead gen, kind of all wrapped up into uh, you know, a, a six week class, six week series, I should say. Um, so again, just to give you a rough idea of that class as well. Just a little more here. This is only gonna be specific to KW Metropolitan. You guys do also have an agent assist program, whereas an agent is listed as a contact once a month or sorry, is listed on every day of the month. So if you have a quick question or anything like that, you can always uh, you know, call that agent, ask your question, um, and just have someone to go to. It's also a way to get agents kind of uh, you know, integrated and talking to other new agents as well. Um, again, a little more, I had dropped this in here as well. This just talks a bit more about that Rising Stars coaching program. I won't uh, explain too much of it. Again, it is a coaching program that kind of does go through the following, increasing your skill set, changing your mindset, mindset, increasing your knowledge, creating confidence, increasing balance in your life. Um, and the purpose really is to get you into production immediately. Um, so I always like to let Ryan and Amy speak to this. 
So if you do have specific questions, I, I'm happy to pass along your information um, and they're happy to tell you more about it. And we're getting close to the end here. I do want to cover just a couple more, a couple little, uh, couple, couple more things. <laughs> um, part of our company, we do have a couple events as well. Um, the first one is typically held in the beginning of the year, more so in the February timeframe. It is called Family Reunion. Um, it used to be completely in person. Now it is, last year was virtual. Again, we'll see what this February brings. Um, it is very similar in regards to MegaCamp, which is the event that had just passed um, a couple weeks ago, about two weeks ago. Um, and essentially what these events are is opportunities for the leadership team, for the Keller Williams Realty International team to get up, speak on the company, what's going on with the company, what's going on with the industry, trends, um, talking with agents who have found success in particular areas, um, you know, really kind of just covering everything about the industry and everything about the company. Um, I've heard amazing things about the in-person uh, in event, which is typically held in, uh, Mega Camp is typically held in Austin, Texas. Family reunion uh, changes from time to time. Last one was held in Las Vegas. Um, so if you ever get the chance to go, I've, I've only heard amazing things. But having said that, even the, even the uh, virtual events this year are filled with just valuable information, learnings, understandings, um, you know, and resources that you can use for your business as well. Couple must reads and not even just must reads, chances are you're gonna hear these books come up time and time again, whether in classes or in conversations. Um, if you haven't done so already, um, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, although these are all, um, you know, written by Gary Keller, they are great books because they speak to different parts of the industry. So the millionaire real estate agent, uh, estate agent again is about kind of helping you use those kind of uh, techniques to be able to grow your business, to be able to leverage, be able to take advantage of you know opportunities. Um, the one thing, a little less about real estate, but more about mindset, is about fo how focusing on one little thing can in fact make multiple changes. Um, that one's kind of my personal favorite. And then shift, shift, which kind of does tackle how to navigate the real estate market. So of course we are very much still in a seller's market, but in that case, this book was written around the time of uh, the dip, I think in 08, 09 or the crash. Um, so again, it's kind of gives you that information, that knowledge to be able to tackle changing markets. And if you do want a copy or need a copy, we do have a few here in the office, just reach out and uh, let me know. And last but not least, we also like to cover a bit of our charity endeavors. Um, so as KW agents, again, you know, part of our culture is to give and to give back. Um, we do that with Red Day, which is held on the second Thursday of every May. Um, and essentially it's a day where we, we don't work and we find a charitable endeavor to give back to. So this past year we had worked with Feeding Hands, which is a um, nonprofit that gives, you know, uh, supplies and food and meals to, to families in a local area. Um, I know in the past they volunteered with people affected by the hurricanes, um, building houses, things like that. It does change every year, um, but it is kind of the, our one big event out of the year. I think for our last Red Day, we had raised, I think almost $20,000 to be able to give back to, um, again, the uh, uh, Feeding Hands Food Pantry um, in our local area. So again, just really part of our culture of who we are. And with that, we are also part of something called KW Cares. This may come into play a bit more when you actually do uh, have your first check. You'll see that in order to get paid, you will have to do what's called a green sheet. And that's just basically putting in the information of your transaction. So what the house was sold for, who the buyer's agent, the seller's agent, Again, that information that our MCA office requires to be able to pay you effectively. Part of that is a section for um, donating to various causes um, and charities. Our big one is KW Cares, which is part of Keller Williams Real Realty International, and they raise money for families impacted by various things. So COVID has been a big one. I'm sure at this point, due to the floods in our area, they're raising money and funds specifically for those folks as well. And it goes back and it's, it's basically money that goes back to those families in need. 
help them get on their feet, help them uh, feel supported um, by our company and by our agents. Um, so again, just another really cool little feature um, about being part of that, of, about being a KW agent. Um, it's just our, our, our way to give back. And that is kind of the very high level overview of, of everything that, you know, we like new agents to know right off the bat. Um, with a lot of this, again, we will kind of, you'll see, dive into these bit more through our training calendar, through some of our classes. And then again, working one on one to get you onboarded and set up. Um, we just make sure that you have access and, and we're here to kind of help you in terms of whatever, whatever area you want to go into. Um, I always say this, if there's something in particular you want to tackle right off the bat as a new agent, come to me and we'll, or, or Chelsea or Dylan or you know, whomever on the leadership teams, and we'll get you going and we'll get you in the right direction. If not, definitely plug in on the training calendar. You'll see that a lot of those classes do help kind of, kind of take you along that path as well. So I know I've talked so much. Thank you guys for listening. Do you guys have any other questions that I can, uh, I can answer? Yeah, Lily. So for um, some of the classes, we, do we have to register or we just show up? Just show up um, unless otherwise, I don't know about uh, if uh, Morristown, or, sorry, are you part of the Morristown office? Or? Yes. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to do anything differently in terms of, you know, any of their specific classes. Um, in terms of any of ours, no registration, just show, show on up either in person or via Zoom. Um, I did my best this month to outline on our calendar what was what, um, but yeah, nothing, nothing you need to register for. The only thing that I will say, typically we do like to get a headcount for, um, would be our sales rally. Um, so I know ours is actually going to be September 23rd. I think the one in Morristown is Friday the 24th. It is. That's, that's going to be in person. So for that, they like to get a headcount so they know how much food to order and things like that. Um, but you'll get like event brights or punch bowl invites for those sort of things. Okay, thank you. Any, uh, any other questions that I can help answer for anybody? Good information, Sam. Great, great. Thank you, Sam. Try to keep it under an hour so you guys get a little, little bit of time back. <laughs> Because uh, I know how it can be to come back from vacation and then just to have to hop on and get going again. So I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sam. No problem. If you guys do have any questions, like I said, feel free to reach out to our, either uh, myself, Chelsea, anybody on the leadership team, or we're here and happy to help. So, Sam, I have a question. Yes. I'm full of questions. You know that I always text you. <laughs> oh. my, my question is... Um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, when we took the real estate class, they tell you all about real estate, but they don't tell you is how you get started, you know, like, well, what is the process? I mean, for me, <clears throat> I know how to do the transactions, this and that, but I just don't know what is my first step. I know we have to do two uh, of the open house shadowing, and then the first one becomes mine. Yeah. So I've done one. Now, what is my next step to get the other one? Who do I need to text, call, email? So chances are, did you do your first one with the Klug team? Which what? Which team? Uh, the Michelle Klug team? Yes, I did. Okay. I, I kind of just figured because I know they have the most. So you can absolutely do another shadow with them. They can be the same <laughs> team. Again, it's just that experience. You know, chances are they would put you on a different listing with a different person just to get a different feel for it. Um, but again, there are other agents. You know, we'll find out this week. Labor Day slowed some things down. Mm -hmm. If we have any other openings, you know, we'll let you know if you want to, you know, shout out with a different agent or a different team or anything like that. Just so happens that the Clue team does have the largest amount of listings. So therefore, it kind of makes it easier to be able to shadow quickly. Okay, so ideally, this is what do agents do? Ideally, they already have um, people that they want to work for. I mean, like, do they have friends? Uh, what is the approach? Like, just hosting open houses and getting leads from there? So it, it can be a variety of ways. Um, some agents basically start and they kind of work their sphere, which is their friends, their family. Do you know anybody that's looking to buy or sell? You know, I, I have a friend, yeah. Yeah, so it can start that way. You can absolutely host open houses. We have, funny enough, it's different for every agent. 
So for example, we have um, an agent that that is their thing. They know how to work in open house and they are great at it and that is their comfort zone. And that's how they've ended up getting buyers. And so they work with a lot more buyers. Um, again, if you some people have family and connections, they will kind of leverage those connections. You have some people that literally do cold calling that will will kind of find a particular area, get a list of numbers that that are on the that are not on the do not call list. Therefore, you can call them, and start that way. Um, so there really is just a variety of ways. It ends up kind of boiling down to your preference, what you're most comfortable with, what you think you can ultimately have more success with. And actually, that's a good question because that's some of what that Ignite class that I had mentioned will kind of dive into. Some of those classes will talk about the different ways in which you can generate leads. I think the lead gen one, which would be a really good one, is going to be net, is it next Friday. Oh my God, next Friday. I'm looking and it says the 17th of September. I'm like, I can't believe that. Next Friday will be a class all on lead gen. And so that'll get you, give you that idea of those different outlets that you can use to be able to get some business. Okay. Um, so how about uh, the, the, uh, the business cards and everything? Those have to be taken care of too. Taken yes. care of too. Uh, you'll work with me on that. So actually, if you want to touch base after, we can hop off here and I'll walk you through some of that. Mm -hmm. I'll walk down that list. Okay, sure. All right, great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. So I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in a minute. Anybody else? Have yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sam, when you get a chance after you, after you call, I have a couple questions. So when you're free, uh, just give me a call. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Yeah. All right. In that case, uh, have a good day, everybody. I'll see you on the next Zoom. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make my phone calls here shortly. <laughs> All right, take care. Thank, thank you. Okay. Yep.